How to remove moving objects in Adobe After Effects. Let's say we've got the shot here and you want to remove the car. In order to do that, just create a mask around the car with the rectangle tool and the clip selected. Draw this mask, set it to none, just so you can see what, what you're doing. Make sure there's enough room to capture the actual shadow, which is important, and it's not actually intersecting with any structures on the street. And now we want to go into the path parameter, hit the stopwatch to animate the mask, and every couple of frames, click on the mask and adjust it. Now we want to head over to the Content Aware Fill panel. If you don't see this panel, go to Window and click Content Aware Fill. Since it's sitting here in the corner, let's undock this so we can see it better. Right here. Or over here, maybe. Now set the mask path to subtract. You can see this masked area here. In this case, I did set the alpha expansion to 15. The fill method is set to object per default and the range to this work area. You could, if necessary, play with this lighting correction parameter and set it to subtle, moderate, or strong, but in this case, it's not necessary. And when you're done with all this, just click Generate Fill Layer. It will generate a new layer and actually analyze the footage and render the frames. Now, when you play this, you remove the car. And it does a pretty good job, actually, this content aware fill. You might have to play around with these settings like alpha expansion and maybe activate lighting correction. But usually when you mask this area carefully and again, give it enough space to cover the shadow of the car or the moving object so it can understand what area it should actually fill, it, would do, it will do a very good job creating these fills. And when you now toggle this on and off, this is the original footage. And this is the fill layer. Okay, when we remove, this is actually the frame sequence that it has generated. And as you can see, it actually still kind of touched on this line and that's because of the alpha expansion, but it still kind of worked. And you don't really see, you're, you're just seeing this on YouTube anyway. Really, I don't see any glitch or any pixel shift or something. It's, it's, it's looking really, really good. Yeah, that's the easiest way to remove moving objects in Adobe After Effects. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.